Hey, how's it going? Well, I've decided to upload most of my, I think, some of my better videos to uh, VidMe. I've still got quite a few to, to, you know, transfer over. I mean, as I've got over a thousand on this platform, but I'm not going to upload every single one of them. I'm just going to upload what I, what I feel is the best, you know, over to uh, VidMe. But then from this point on, uh, any of my new material I want to upload to VidMe as well as here on YouTube. <clears throat> but I think I think VidMe is going to be the replacement for YouTube when it comes to those that do social commentary. They've got some really neat things going on now. Um, hey, let me go to a uh, let me just go to a video here. if I put do display capture first there we go okay <clears throat> so you can have an option to where you can now follow is different than subscribe when they say subscribe they're talking about uh, uh, well going beyond just regular following um, subscribe is kind of like uh, it's kind of like patreon but it's built into the website right you can also tip someone right you know built right into the website N other neat things you can go to more and download the file you can you can make your files your videos available if you want you can make them not available if you want as well but uh you know if you want people to be able to download it there it is you don't have to use some separate site you know um <clears throat> good stuff their comment sections are more, uh, here, let's go to here. <clears throat> you can see that they actually have them set up like threads are supposed to be set up. You know who you're responding to. Um, you know, this is the way that threads are supposed to be set up. That's the way this shit's supposed to work. Google still hasn't done this with, this with YouTube. They kind of did a half-assed job of it. Um, <clears throat> you know, another thing, another thing that's nice, which is why I may end up just flat out moving my Kazoom's Clips channel over to VidMe, is that they don't have. I, I still don't understand why YouTube did, why Google did this with YouTube. Well, you can have 60 frames per second video if it's 720p and up. If it's below 720p, well, you know, you're back to 30. Well, what about all this all this footage from old NTSC television, all this footage from VHS? You know, it's gonna it's not going to be in 720p. So <clears throat> I would rather not have to, you know, when I'm working with this old media, you know, VHS stuff, I'd rather not have to uh, upscale it to a higher resolution just so people can watch it in 60 frames per second and then if they're not watching it in 720p then they can't see it the way that it, it originally looks and the quality will look really bad so <clears throat> you know vidme seems to be a good place for that the vidme seems to be really focusing on content creators more of the way no more of, of some of the things that you know made youtube good in the past is what VidMe seems to focus on. <clears throat> now, one of the things that um, this video right here, um, uh, Bob Blah Bob Blah Blah Blah, I forgot what he called himself on uh, on uh, on YouTube. It was uh, there, Bob Blah 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 Blah. blah. And uh, his channel was just shut down. His channel just, just bam, they shut it down. They're claiming it's for spam. Well, he's not a spammer, you know? And unless someone, you know, hacked his channel or something, um, you know? And so once I saw that, I saw that video, I was like, you know, maybe, uh, Maybe I should really consider uh, putting more stuff on VidMe. Uh, Bob also gave a reminder that 
you know, uh, you, you, you probably want to back up your important stuff. Because if Google does decide to can your channel for just whatever reason, and you won't have much to, uh, you don't have much of a chance to appeal, if any, um, yeah, it'd be good to have backups of your stuff. Um, I recommend a Save Dio because at least it allows you to download the. I mean, and they've got ads, so you want to use AdBlock on that site, but uh, and they don't give you an option to pay them, so you don't have to see the ads when you're not using AdBlock. So AdBlock's really the only way to go with the site, but. They allow you to save the uh, the 60 frames per second video, um, but you have to save them separate from the audio and then splice them together in a video editor. But you're able to get 60 frames per second, 1080p, and you know beyond uh, video when using Save Dio. So, but most people aren't using 60 frames per second, and a lot of people don't even go beyond 720p. So if that's the case, any of the sites that deal with uh, downloading of, of YouTube videos, and it would be a good way to back your shit up. But, you know, after seeing the... <clears throat> what Google's plans are, you know, YouTube TV... Knowing the way that the direction this is going, yeah, it's it's uh, it's almost time to just jump ship. It's it's it's, it's we're almost there. Um, and I'm seeing a lot of a lot of people that I've already I'm already subscribed to on YouTube uh, already having started to make a presence on that uh, on the, on VidMe. So <clears throat> I'll leave a link to my channel in the description bar. Um, but uh, I think it's a I think it's a worthwhile uh, website to consider. This is not to say that YouTube is gonna you know pretty much crumble. We we I mean it's likely that it will if they continue these patterns. But uh, at least the YouTube that we knew, uh, the new YouTube will probably be YouTube TV, and there will be uh, there'll probably be. Parts of it, they'll eventually let you watch for free without having to pay a subscription fee. You know, maybe you'll have to look at ads there. But uh, you know, we can see we can we can see the future in front of us. And when it comes to Google's products, um, us content creators that make in, you know independent content and social commentary and independent news and all of that. Um, are kind of being tossed in the garbage. So, you know, we'll, I mean, I'm not saying that, that YouTube is going, you know, absolutely is going to, to start uh, closing people's channels left and right. But I do think that they're going to make the kind of content that people like myself make much, much harder to access by people very very difficult for people to find unless they already know about me and so you know the same is going to go on with everyone else uh, someone trying to gain more of a name just isn't going to be possible unless you've already got a lot of money involved and are already making stuff that's advertiser friendly and you know, that sort of thing, and you want to kind of join the kind of entertainment that you find in mainstream media, then, you know, and if you make that kind of material, then you're, you're probably okay. But uh, most of the interesting material on this platform isn't that. So, vid me. Pad me. Pad me. Pod me.